My name's Jacob, and I'm an audio engineer based here in Richmond, Virginia. And I started English Oak Recording. And since 2018, I've helped artists write, record, mix, and master their music. I like to pair natural and true to life sounds with my love for a high production value recording. And to hear what that sounds like, you can visit my website and listen to the music we've created here at English Oak Recording. Why did I create this YouTube channel? The internet and YouTube were a huge resource to me when I was learning how to become an audio engineer. And if you wanna make audio engineering your career, I think it's important to have a good reputable resource. I believe that there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about recording and being an audio engineer. And I think that can be really difficult for anybody who wants to make this a career. And I think it can make it difficult for them to decide if they want to make this a career. And it's important to me that we preserve the culture and the work ethic of the commercial recording studio. In 2024, a lot of artists are having to record their records out of necessity. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's also how I started getting into recording. So we're seeing people who don't identify as a recording engineer first, they maybe identify as an artist who has to become a recording engineer in order to release their music. And that can position recording as a means to an end, when in reality, recording is an art form completely separate from writing music, which can kind of lead to this misinformation um, on the internet for anybody who wants to become a professional audio engineer. Equally as important as getting information on the internet, it's to understand where your information is coming from. What experience did I have before starting my own studio? In high school, I was lucky enough to take some recording and production classes at a trade school. In my senior year, I got an internship at the Music Resource Center. That's a recording studio and a place for sixth to 12th graders to make music and to create and connect, to form bands, learn about audio engineering, or to learn about any angle of music. Then after high school, I completed a certificate program. And so through those experiences, I found that audio engineering was something I wanted to commit my life to, and I had this dream of starting my own studio. But I quickly realized that the recording studio isn't something you can just apply for and get a job in. And if you could, you especially couldn't do that in my hometown. So if the job wasn't gonna present itself to me, I was going to create it myself. And that's why I started English Oak Recording. My first studio only had one input and I only had the ability to record vocals. But through that intense limitation, I was able to get really good at recording vocals. And at the same time, I wanted to continue learning more about this thing I loved so much. And that's where I turned to YouTube and the internet. And I was very fortunate that five to 10 years ago, there were only a few resources teaching about audio engineering on the internet. And so that's why I value YouTube and that's why I'm creating this YouTube channel because of the impact that YouTube and the internet had on me in my career as an audio engineer. How do you find clients when you first start as an audio engineer? Outside of celebrating the releases you've worked on or posting photos of the process, I would not focus on social media. Instead, you yourself as someone who's just starting has an incredible advantage. And that is that you're probably paying your bills through your day job. And I would recommend that you find a local band that you're really into and that you do a single or you even do an entire record for free with them. There's so many local bands out there that are so cool and so interesting that maybe don't have the resources to go into a studio and who are trying to record themselves. But if you're someone who's looking to be a standalone audio engineer or recording studio, this can be something that is mutually beneficial for the both of you. And as long as you're able to be a good hang and deliver the best product you can, you're gonna build trust in your local community. And that is one of the most important things when you're first starting. And so when you're trying to find more clients and you're talking to bands, you can provide them an example of your work and it's gonna be an example that's familiar to them because they probably also know that band. And then you can start utilizing social media to find clients because social media is a funnel that's designed to find people that want to engage with what you're doing and pair them with you. If you create that funnel and bring people to you and you have nothing to show, then where does that funnel go? 